Hello Foam Fighters, I'm Dr. Flux and in today's video I'm going to show you how I modded my Adventure Force Spectrum to take 3S LiPo and I threw some better wheels in here so it actually has a better crush in it and I'm hitting up to 120 FPS. So if you'd like to see how I did this mod, uh, check it out. I'm going to do a full breakdown step by step and uh, give my final thoughts on this mod. So let's jump right into it. Now, ever since OptiMan and I did a review, a versus, if you will, of the Spectrum versus the Phoenix, I knew I was wanting to do a mod on this. I would like to do a mod on the Phoenix as well, uh, but it is a much more difficult blaster to mod. So I figured we'd start with the Spectrum, and I am very happy with this, how this turned out. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into, you know, the butterflying of this blaster and uh, see what it looks like inside. As you can see, I decided to go with these worker flywheels because they are a little bit larger. Now what this does is it actually offers a little bit more crush on the standard cage. So next up, we go ahead and we wire up the flywheels. Of course, we start off by testing the polarity and see the rotation of the flywheels. Now this blaster I decided to do my standard paint job on, so we did a vinyl dye, a white vinyl dye, and we came back through with some fluorescence and made this thing really pop. I am a big fan of how this turned out. I think I went a little bit overboard on yellow, especially with the yellow mag, but hey, this thing is not gonna be mistaken for a firearm, so that's cool. I'm also not gonna be able to hide too well on the battlefield, but hey, that's fine. So we ended up mounting the switch down at the bottom. So we utilize normally open in comm and uh, we just wired it up to where it's just a, a trigger pole completes the circuit and powers up the flywheels. So pretty standard wire job.
I uh, also then went and wired up an XT60 connection and we are testing currently with a 3S LiPo and this is a small LiPo. I would like to note this is a LiPo used in the Hurricane, the Worker Hurricane, so it's a little bit smaller. Now if you'd like to use a larger LiPo, you can actually cut out this entire tray. That would give you just enough room to stick a standard LiPo in there. I also had to cut out some of the webbing because uh, it just was hitting just enough to where I just had to trim down the webbing. So keep that in mind. I figured I would also do a little bit of detail work and go back with a brush and just kind of paint all the text white just to let it pop a little bit. Just a little bit of detail can go a long way sometimes. So after putting this all together, I decided to go ahead and take it outside. We uh, checked the chronograph readings and I noticed this thing was hitting very well. I was getting 100 and then I got 110 and I believe I even peaked up at 120 FPS, which was phenomenal. And yes, I was shooting the Adventure Force Waffles. So getting 120 FPS on Adventure Force Waffles is pretty nice. I'll go ahead and put a link to the uh, worker wheels I use. I'm very happy with the stock cage and with those worker wheels. I think they were a good combination. And after grabbing some FPS numbers, I figured I might as well go have fun with it and take it to the range. And yeah, this thing is deadly accurate. I think this will be a great primary to use in either a war. Uh, I don't know if it's, it's a little bit hot for an HVZ. I don't know if I would do that. Um, but definitely a war. I think this is a cool war primary just to, you know, have fun with all day. So look forward to having fun with this blaster out on the battlefield. So in conclusion, I'm pretty happy with this mod and uh, I look forward to see what other awesome things Dart Zone comes out with because they've been really coming out with some pretty cool stuff. And I'm actually a fan of their cages and their geometries and the motors and the, I mean, everything about this blaster, as far as getting into it and working on it was a breeze. It was a great blaster to work on. Not frustrating at all. Plenty of room inside there. No solvent welding. There was solvent welding somewhere. Oh, there was solvent welding on the scope, but I don't want the scope, so don't really care. But yes, there was some solvent welding on the scope. But yeah, big fan of this, big fan of the Spectrum, and really happy with what Dart Zone has been doing lately. Well, I'm Dr. Flux, and that pretty much wraps up this mod guide of the Adventure Force or Dart Zone Spectrum. Let me know in the comments section if you uh, think this is a cool mod, if this is something you would like to do. I want to take a moment to thank my Patreons. With Patreon support, I am able to do projects like this. So I just want to thank you for your support. Uh, also, we are now selling patches. If you'd like to buy a patch, a Dr. Flux patch, uh, head on over to Silver Fox Industries, in which you can pick one up. Or if you join Patreon and you do one payment of a $5 Patreon, I'll send you a patch. And lastly, I have opened up a PO box, which I will include in the description. So I am accepting fan mail now. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy foam flinging.